Welcome back. You're watching Buy Now, Sell on ET Now. And let's kick start taking all of your stock related queries. Viewers, you can write to us on the number flashing on the top of your screen. And let me just start with the queries that have already started pouring in. We have Kush as well as uh, Vivek Karva joining us as, as experts today. And the first one is coming from Subrata Go. She wants to know about Latent View and Fino Payments Bank. He's saying he's in profits in both of them, but he's expecting some more up move. Uh, Kush, she wants to know one, his theory of uh, up move in both these counters are right. And what should his strategy be now? Sure. So um, I think on latent view, you're seeing some sort of, uh, you know, a consolidation with a positive bias. Uh, you know, the stock is attempting a revival. I'm not sure if the uh, up move will be sustainable beyond a point. Uh, there's a falling trend line resistance. So for me, 515520 will be the zone where perhaps I will look to, you know, exit this counter. There are some supply pressures that might come in. So, you know, while the up move could continue because that's a revival, uh, may not be too, uh, you know, may not be a big one. On Fino, we've seen some action, you know, about this week yesterday and today. I'm, you know, I have a feeling it's on the back of some news. The momentum could very well take it to 380 levels. But I think beyond that, uh, it could be a bit of a challenge because from 380 to 400, there is a supply pressure. So, while both the stocks uh, are in a bit of an uptrend, uh, it may not be a very stretched one. So you know, uh, keep taking some uh, profits off the table if you have bought at lower levels. All right, that's the take coming in on latent view. <clears throat> but moving on to the next query, and this one is uh, from um, Satya Veni and Vivek. If you can help him with uh, two of the best plays from the railway sector, where he can go and invest afresh for the next one year. Okay, okay. Uh, first of all, I think Satya Veni should be a lady uh, because it's a South name. Uh, okay, uh, see, in railways, I feel IRCTC should be the best bet and the safest among railway uh, sector as of today, because uh, I don't find uh, most of the companies right now at this valuations, uh, that comfort level is definitely not there. Yeah, uh, uh, though they are running up uh, very, very fast, they're waiting for the budget. So you just have a trailing stop loss if you are holding other railway companies. But uh, if you're looking for longer term, I think IICTC should uh, continue doing well. So that would be the only bet from uh, railway sector for. All right, this one is uh, coming from Krish. This one is for you, Kosh. She is holding ITD cementation, 100 shares at a price of 415 rupees per share. Uh, how is the stock looking on the charts for the next one year? Fairly strong. Uh, you know, there was a long consolidation period. Uh, you know, in the last or rather at the start of the year, and the stock's given a breakout. I think from a near-term perspective, there could be some pressure because the move that we saw on the stock was, you know, simply uh, magnificent. You know, six seventy all the way up until eight twenty. So some consolidation is warranted. But beyond that, I think uh, you know, from a twelve-month perspective, there is a very good possibility that the stock uh, from here on could go to eight fifty and eight eighty levels also. So continue to hold. Uh, you know, a good support zone on this one comes in at 7.30. So in case the stock drops to that level, you might want to perhaps exit for the timing and then uh, reconsider the re-entry. But uh, continue to hold. I think 8.80 from a 12-month perspective is a very reasonable target on this one. And uh, Vivek, what's your view coming in on HDFC Life? Uh, Venkati from Vishakhapatnam uh, is holding 300 shares. His average price is close to 700 rupees. Uh, now that we have seen some of these life insurance companies um, can seem to be consolidating on the stock prices. But what's your view? Can, can this stock once again go back to his buy price? And what's the expectation? No, I think it is going to take time, and uh, the valuations comfort again in HDFC Life is not that great. Uh, though uh, it is the biggest uh, life insurance uh, company. See, what is happening is in the industry there is a lot of saturation and maturity which has already come in, and uh, the kind of growth which should be uh, seen for this valuations, that kind of growth is not going to be seen in future. So what I feel is uh, uh, you should avoid this, and even if you really want to. Be in life insurance company till now. I was bullish, I mean, uh, bearish, but uh, I would uh, still prefer uh, LIC of uh, India because uh, the the momentum in business there seems to be picking up. So that gives the comfort level and the valuation is almost uh, LIC is almost like uh, one fifth of uh, what HDFC is trading at. So avoid HDFC. All right, uh, that's the take coming in on those uh, queries. But just let me quickly take a detour and address a new uh, development that's coming up. And Sebi has actually pulled up Relega Enterprises chairperson Rashmi Saluja and his board of directors for failing 
to comply with the securities law after the Berman family launched an open offer to acquire additional shares in the financial services company. It has, in fact, directed a rally board to seek RBI approval within a week. Michael, Ankur is here to tell us what exactly uh, is this order from SEBI, what does this mean for the company and why such an order? Uh, good morning, Ankur. And yes, Relegate has rebounded from the day's lowest point after a clarification coming in from the company as well. But what exactly is SEBI saying? Yes, finally, we have seen a regulatory action coming in the case of Burman's uh, versus Relegate Enterprises. Now, SEBI has directed Relegate Enterprises board members was uh, to seek approvals from the three regulators on the open offer of Burmans and that needs to be done by July 12. Now also here in the interim order regulator has expressed unhappiness over the conduct of the board members regarding taking approval from the respective uh, regulators. Uh, they have also sought written assurances from REL board within a week to comply with security law. Now what is the matter? Uh, remember, last year, Burmans had acquired over 5% stake in Relegate Enterprises and after that, uh, the ceiling of 26% was broken and uh, as per SEBI law, uh, they need to go for open offer. Now, for complying uh, these regulations, uh, REL needed to take regulatory approvals, but it did not do so, stating that it did not find uh, Burmans to be fit and proper for acquiring the stake. Uh, and hence, uh, a letter was also written to SEBI regarding the same last month. But now, regulator has clearly specified that Burmans uh, should have sought uh, regulatory approvals. And if at all, uh, regulator finds uh, it is not fit and proper, that is a secondary issue. And that needs to be decided by regulator itself. Now, what is the way forward? The uh, Burmans uh, had uh, already alleged uh, that relegate board chairperson Rashmi Saluja were blocking the open offer and now regulator has clearly said that it needs to comply with the interim order and uh, seek approval from three respective regulators that is IRDI, RBI as well as SEBI. All these respondents and the notices which has been sent to uh, the relegate board members uh, that can be replied within two weeks. In fact, a physical hearing option has also been given by SEBI to all these uh, notices. Uh, thank you so much for getting us all those details. Uh, but with this, viewers, it's time to slip into a very short break in th this edition of Buy Now Sell Now. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Buy Now Sell Now and let's keep it going with all your stock related queries then and the next query that I have Kosh is coming in from Deepak. Uh, he's holding 60 shares of Aditya Birla Sun Life AMC from a price of 640 rupees. Um, since we are seeing all these Aditya Birla group of counters doing pretty well, is that a still a hold at this uh, point in time or uh, look for better opportunities? Well, I think, you know, the stocks had a good run, come into a bit of a profit booking. I think, you know, if you have an existing position, it's not a bad idea to perhaps, you know, exit because the stock could head to uh, 640 levels also from a near-term perspective. So perhaps book profit, you could consider, uh, you know, a re-entry at lower levels, but at the current juncture, it's a good idea to take the money off the table. All right. This one is coming from Satya. This one is on Electra, Elect, uh, Orient Electric. He has about uh, some shares at a price of 220 rupees per share. He wants one to two year view on this one. He wants to know whether he should stay put with this or look to actually go ahead and switch to Adani Wilmer instead. Uh, Vivek, let me come to you. What's your view coming in on this one? Stay put with Orient Electric. He's making some uh, mild bit of profits in this counter. Or should he actually look to switch to Adani Wilmer? First of all, uh, no point uh, comparing Orange and an Apple because Adani Wilmer is totally different uh, sector and uh, Orient Electric is uh, totally a, a different company. So if you come, come to Orient Electric, yes, the valuations are definitely a bit uh, stretched, but uh, the kind of uh, brand value, the brand recall it has and the products it has, I think the company should continue doing well because uh, particularly the consumer durable space is doing well right now. If you look at the movement of uh, IFP Industries or Whirlpool, you will find uh, that uh, companies like Orient Electric also should do well. That is one thing. Now, secondly, if you still want to uh, say uh, switch, uh, Adani Wilmer maybe in another one year should give you at least 50-60% returns from here. 
this is my expectation. So I'll be again a contrarian on uh, Danny Will. But if you look at uh, fundamentals right now or even charts right now, it would uh, uh, not let you buy. But uh, I feel uh, as time progresses, this stock should continue doing well. All right. Um, one more query for you, Vivek. This query is from Hari and he's holding 3,600 shares of JP Associates and his buy price is 24 rupees 50 paise. And it's been a decade that he's been holding this particular stock. As we know that the company is looking out to like uh, settle his debts as well as um, sell his existing debts and books. So do you believe that he should continue to hold on this particular stock or book loss? I know it's been a long time that he's already holding this counter. When something really materializes, that time we can look at it because the company is just worth around 2,600 crore market cap and the debt alone is more than 15,000 uh, crores. So as of now, I read the name of the company as JPASS. All right, so let's move on then. And this next query is coming in uh, from a viewer. Um, not mentioned the name, but he is a long-term investor. Uh, 10 years plus is his time horizon, Vivek, is what he's saying. And he wants to know which railway stock, according to you, looks attractive. I know you spoke about ISCTC a short while ago, but between IRFC, RVNL, Ircon, or for the matter of fact, BML, which one uh, should he uh, look to invest in or should instead uh, look, to, uh, he should look to invest in uh, mutual funds because of high valuation that uh, uh, invests uh, in the same theme? Uh, firstly, if you really want to invest in uh, railway sector, then there is no mutual fund which uh, invests only in railway sector. So you cannot do that. But yeah, there are uh, funds which can really do well. And uh, as I uh, told in the beginning, even now you can invest in financial services fund that is going to give you very good returns. Now, if you still ask me, uh, other than IRCTC, I think I will uh, prefer BEML because uh, more diversified and uh, capital uh, goods uh, company. So that would be my better pick than IRFC or uh, RBNL at these valuations. At these valuations, definitely I don't have that comfort. Moving on, the next query is from Shivakumar KS and uh, Kush, uh, he wants to know, can he buy m and Financials at current levels with a three-year investment horizon? He was also looking for an advice at Geo Financials, but at the start, you already gave your take. So, uh, m and Financials, good uh, levels to buy with a three-year investment horizon? Uh, from a three-year perspective, uh, yes, the stocks, uh, you know, from a near term, if you see, has seen a very uh, sharp recovery. Uh, there is a bit of a pressure around this 300, 320 mark, but I think, you know, with the kind of uptick, uh, you know, in the momentum that we are seeing and the uh, renewed, uh, you know, interest in the financial services space, I think this stock should be able to take out this near-term momentum. I think, uh, again, from a medium-term perspective, you could look at 350 and perhaps even a 380 as the targets on this one. And if you just want to, if you want to stay put for some time, then, you know, it's not a bad stock either. But again, you know, since Geo was also mentioned, if I were to pick uh, one, I would still go ahead and pick uh, geofinancial services over uh, MNM. Has 85 shares of Delta Corp at a price of 291 rupees per share. Vivek, he wants to know whether he should stay put with Delta Corp or look uh, to exit out of this. What's your take coming in on Delta Corp? Severe wealth erosion for our investor. And also, there's a lot of news based information that has actually impacted the stock price for Delta Corp. Hopefully, things may get better if, uh, if uh, reports are to be believed. But that is wait and watch. What should he do right now with Delta Corp? Uh, 291 being the buy price, Vivek. See, you buy Delta Corp uh, stock or you play at Delta Delta. Uh, the uh, uh, probability of winning in your stakes is equal. So it's quite risky uh, bet. But at these levels, uh, in fact, we spoke about this stock last time also. After this much uh, crash, I think you should hold it on because there is some positive development which might come. Now, this all are rumors. Until until the GST Council really announces some changes or uh, the retro uh, taxation which was uh, uh, say imposed on them if something positive out of that comes then maybe the company would uh, do well but right now uh, if you go to delta uh, whoever has gone i don't gamble but my friends whoever has gone is they are saying that it's like a vacant ekdam khali <laughs> All right, got your take on Delta Corp. But Vivek advised Neeta Jaswani on Ugro Capital. She is holding 100 shares and a buy price is 280 rupees. What's the take out here? Uh, it's uh, I I have that feeling that it is next uh, Punawala. So you should pull it out. Ugro Capital can be next Punawala Fincorp is what uh, Vivek has to say. But Vivek, uh, sorry, Kuna, uh, I beg your pardon, Kush, for keeping you waited. 
But uh, Vivek, one more query for you coming in. Uh, this one is coming from Sudhir. He's a long-term investor. He was accumulating C info system Mapma India from the levels of about 1900 rupees per share levels. Uh, he's saying the stock, uh, the stock today has shot up. Is it worth chasing or wait for it to come down? What's your take coming on Mapma India? A very bullish note coming in from Goldman Sachs. That's one of the reasons why the stock is perked up today. Locked actually in upper circle over 20%. Do you think it's worth chasing or just stay put with what you have right now, Vivek? Business alternate to uh, say Google Maps, uh, Desi version of uh, Google Maps, I should say, and uh, the kind of uh, penetration it is going to have is going to be excellent. But uh, after 20% rally, I think you should not chase it. If you get any small dips, uh, you can uh, look at that point of time. So at this level, no. My India, but with this viewers, it's time to slip into a very short break here again. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back to take more of your stock related queries. Welcome back, you're watching Bye Now Sell Now on ET Now, and let's continue taking your queries. Then, this next query that I have is coming in uh, from a viewer, uh, Karthik, he's writing to us from Bangalore. He wants to know about BLSE as well as uh, Global Spirits. Uh, with uh, it's, He's saying that both these counters are down about 30% uh, since his buy price. He wants to know whether he can average and at what price. Uh, Kush, your favorite uh, type of a query, uh, BLSE services as well as Global Spirits uh, worth uh, averaging right now at a loss? First, let me say I said in the start of the show that you know I wouldn't mind being a spectator to Vivek's comments. See, I didn't know my wish would be granted so soon, and he's on an absolute roll today. So I'm <laughs> enjoying listening to him. Uh, to answer Vivek's query, uh, uh, sorry, I miss the uh, you know uh, caller's name, but you know just to answer the query here, uh, BLS International downturn. You know there was a start one. You know from a falling trend line perspective, the resistance broken and the stocks moving higher. Don't average because there aren't very clear signs of the. Uh, reversal being uh, you know done and dusted, uh, but the stock could move higher. So you could continue to hold. Now a stop loss here is at 259, 255 kind of zones. So continue to hold. A uh, global spirit also after uh, you know the sharp downturn, it's barely holding on to its uh, you know a long term averages. So for me a stop loss for this one would come in at 740, 745 kind of levels. But again you know no signs of revival. So that's not a good idea to perhaps uh, you know uh, average. 880 is the zone. Once it crosses that and gains momentum, is where you can consider buying some uh, some more. All right, then moving on. Uh, the next query that I have, uh, Vivek, is coming from Samrat. He's writing to us for the first time. Uh, he recently bought Tanla platforms at a price of 960 rupees, and he also has IRFC from a price of 180 rupees. Uh, how are long term prospects for both of these names? Tanla looks good uh, and uh, with the kind of A2P uh, business they do and the valuations uh, this company is commanding, I think uh, at 23-24p it really makes it uh, hold. So hold it on. Uh, there should be some up move uh, going forward. And the second one was IRFC. Uh, see, uh, again, uh, as I said, uh, most of the railway companies are really costly, but IRFC, okay, at this valuations, I think you can hold it on if you're already having it. I would not uh, enter afresh, but uh, uh, at 35 PE and uh, almost, uh, uh, say, financing most of the railway projects, I think this can be a good. All right, this one is coming in from SK Saran, and he wants to know about Divji, uh, Divji uh, Talk Systems. Uh, uh, 200 shares at a price of 700 rupees per share is what he's holding uh, at uh, Vivek. Long term, how does this counter look to you? Yeah, sorry. It is Divji Talk Systems. It's a it's a fairly recently listed counter, DIVGI. Uh, sorry, I'll have to skip this. All right, Kush, have you been able to uh, locate the chart for the stock by any chance? And if you have a view on this? Uh, I do. I hope this is the same one which is currently quoting at about 640 rupees. Uh, uh, again, you know, very serious downturn, 640 is perhaps, you know, where the stock consolidated for some time, you know, right after the issue. Uh, I don't see, a, uh, you know, any big meaningful upturn coming on this one. So if you have, this will be a good time to exit. All right, then uh, moving on, uh, the next query that I have um, is coming in uh, from OP Lal from Bangalore. And um, his query, uh, Vivek, is uh, coming in on the, uh, on the hospitality sector. He wants to know about Indian hotels. Uh, do you still believe that it's a, 
um, it's it recommends a fresh buy at this point in time. Uh, see, hospitality overall is really going to do very, very well going forward. And uh, this is one sector which is really going to create a lot of job opportunities also for uh, uh, Indians going forward. Now, uh, if you look at the uh, valuations, particularly and the run up, the kind of, uh, uh, say, uh, kind of run up which we have seen in Indian hotels, at this level, yeah, on dips, I would uh, prefer buying, not immediately. So I would spread my buying in this uh, stock is still doing good and as i said long term looks bullish uh if you really want to enter right now and uh, hold on then i think there's one more company called eih even uh, that handles uh, uh properties like if i'm not wrong Oberoi and trident so eih also uh, looks good at this price and it is much cheaper than uh, indian hotel so if you really want to do that arbitrage game here you can uh, actually play it out is coming in from Subramanian who is writing to us from Chennai. 25 shares of RCF is what he has in his portfolio. Kush, 160 is a buy price. Should he continue to hold on to it or look to exit? And what's the outlook on HCC? As far as RCF is concerned, uh, stellar move today back of uh, on the back of good volumes. Continue to hold. Uh, my uh, stop loss on this one now would be 205. So the trailing stop loss on this one would be 205. The stock uh, you know, with the kind of current momentum and, uh, you know, seeing the momentum indicators could hit 230, 235 kind of zones also. So, uh, you know, RCF continue to hold, but because we've seen stellar move on the last, uh, you know, over the last two days, not a bad idea to keep a trailing stop loss at 205. So if it does dip towards that, you know, take some uh, money home. Uh, the other stock which you mentioned was HCC, right? Now, um, again, you know, doesn't really instill, you know, all that, uh, you know, greater confidence given the history. But if you see the near term move, then, you know, they have been very encouraging. If you have an existing position, hold it with a stop loss of 46 uh, from the current juncture. I think the stock has potential to go to 54 and perhaps 57 also in the near term. So hold on to this one. I wouldn't recommend a fresh buy just yet. With that, let's uh, take up with all your stock related queries in the uh, rapid fire found then. The first one coming from Anil Malhotra from Delhi. He wants to know about NHPC. 1500 shares at the buy price of about 31.5 rupees per share. Kush, uh, wait for two months or uh, exit already? Continue to hold stop loss at 94. All right, this one is coming in from our viewer. Not mentioned the name, but GTL Infra is the counter. Bought at around uh, two rupees. It's a penny stock. I'll skip, uh, skip this one. Nita Gupta is a long-term investor. Uflex is a stock, 40 shares at a price of 554 rupees per share. What to do with this counter? Can you hold on or look to exit, Vivek? I'm costly, so slowly exit on the books. All right, this next one is coming in from our viewer, Krishnan, who's writing to us from Goa. 350 shares of NMDC Steel at a price of 59 rupees per uh, share. Can hold for one year, should uh, do that or look to exit. Uh, NMDC Steel is the counter, Kush. Uh, hold the stop loss here would be about 55 on the up move. The stock could test 65 and 70. All right, this one is from one of our viewers, BR Srinivas. He wants to know about Dixon Tech, 100 uh, shares at a price of 2,299 rupees per share. Uh, stay put with this one, add some more for the long term. What's your take on this, Vivek? <laughs> Very difficult to comment, uh, but uh, yeah, on uh, every rally, I think you should slowly book profits. All right, this one is coming from Lakshmanen who wants to know whether it's worth selling uh, Kotak Mahindra Bank and Wipro and look at an alternate uh, option. Uh, what's your take, Kush? Uh, good query. I think you can switch from a Kotak to, uh, you know, an Axis uh, bank and Wipro you could sell and perhaps, uh, you know, enter something like a Geo Financial. I know different sectors, but, you know, I, I don't see a big, side, a big upside on the IT stocks uh, from here on. All right, this one has come from G. Kumar. Power Grid is the counter. 280 is the buy price. About 1,000 shares is what he has in his portfolio, Vivek. Worth staying put or go ahead and uh, book profits? Hold it down, buy more. All right, this one is coming in uh, from a uh, uh, viewer. Divya wants to know whether it makes sense to buy IF, uh, IFCI and KNR Constructions, Kush. Uh, IFCI, uh, no, I wouldn't uh, recommend that. KNR construction, you know, uh, does look uh, quite you know, solid on the charts. We are seeing a near term drop by close to 345 kind of levels. All right, and with that, we come to the end of the rapid fire as well as the query segment. Thank you so much, Vivek, as well as uh, Kush, for joining us on the show. Talking about the banking space in particular, 
as well as resolving all the stock related queries and viewers with that we come to the end of this edition of buy now sell now it's a goodbye from shristi myself and the team that put the show together but stay tuned markets at noon coming up next If you like this video then like share and subscribe to 18 now